As the reading of the budget comes closer, National Solidarity Assembly head Novan Miraj is calling for compassion from the ruling PNM for the ordinary man. In his budget wish list, he says social stability is important. I think there's no doubt in the minds of anyone that we are experiencing you know, difficult economic times. It's not only Trinidad and Tobago, it's the world as a whole. So, you know, I was hoping that whatever the economic policy is implemented in the budget, that the government will take into consideration the adverse social consequences if there are any, and maybe put measures in place to, to act as a buffer to ensure that ordinary citizen, the ordinary man on the street is not too harshly done by with regard to the budget. Some of the social programs we have is something that we need to continue. Mr. Mirage is also hopeful that money will be set aside to finish development works for the lands to be given to the 4,000 ex carney workers. Now, what I was hoping for is that at least enough funds can be allocated to continue some developmental um, work on the sites so that eventually the sites could be given out to the workers um, who are still entitled to get. Mm -hmm. For example, there are sites, let's say, in Chinchin or Luxing Road in Cuba, for example, where it's already prepared. It's just the final approvals are needed for water and electricity. Then you have a situation where contractors need to be paid to complete the jobs and things like that. So it's a question of, is that direct cash to the workers say what I'm hoping enough funds are allocated to be able to continue the infrastructural development so that these sites could eventually be given out. And he's also asking for the establishment of an insurance fund for the protection of local workers against foreign companies. The indemnity fund for foreign based companies is something I think is essential in our this country also. So that whatever ha what happened to the steel workers I think will never happen again to other workers or foreign companies come make the profits wind up and leave, uh, leave the workers without anything to get. You know, and I can tell you, I have a judgment passed again a against a company called Jing Zhang in the, in the industrial court. And when that judgment was passed, they had to pack up and leave. So there's no way you could get, way you could get the workers could get those monies. So these are some of the little things that could change the dynamics a bit. Mr. Mirage says he's hoping for the best in these trying economic times.